Thank you for watching Action News 5. I'm Kirsten Webb and we're here today with a public service announcement. Methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or better known as MRSA, is a very dangerous bacteria that can and will cause harm if untreated. Very resistant to antibiotics. Please stay tuned for more information. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, is a staph germ that is highly resistant to the drugs usually prescribed that usually cure staph infections. My name is Cindy Brasher. I'm a registered nurse with Methodist Love Honor Healthcare Systems. Most staph germs are spread from skin to skin, and once it enters the body, it has potential of spreading to the bones, joints, blood, or organs. Methicillin staph aureus is pretty common. Um, it's probably the most common kind of skin infection that we see when people come in with a wound or something like that. Um, when we see, um, when we have people who have MRSA and they would be like in an intensive care unit, it does warrant what we call contact precautions in which you would gown up, not just use standard precautions such as gloves and hand washing, but you actually use full protective barriers like gowns and uh, you know, stronger precautions are taken on the patient. Staph infections are more susceptible to people who have a weakened immune system. Like patients who are in a hospital receiving long-term treatment, people who receive kidney dialysis, those who receive cancer treatment, or those who participate in the consumption of illegal drugs or have underwent surgery. MRSA causes skin infections that have been identified among certain populations that share close quarters or experience skin-to-skin -skin contact. Examples would be teammates, military recruits, and those who take advantage of community centers that harbor lots of people. For example, a gym. It can happen with anyone, it just needs an opportunity. That's the thing with MRSA is that it's kind of present everywhere and probably much, pretty much on everyone. Um, I was told by a doctor recently that those of us that work in the medical care are pretty much colonized from it. You know, we carry it and it's on us at all times. It's just waiting for an opportunity, a little place to grow inside the skin, around hair follicles, in a wound. And, um, but in more commonly, you know, in situations where it kind of just gets out of control, where your body can't fight it off, is anyone with something like an immune compromised person who, for whatever reason, elderly, unhealthy, immune compromised, um, you see kind of often get into people with diabetes because they have poor vascular flow in their lower extremities and you, they get little wounds and ulcers that don't heal and then they get MRSA and then it turns into a big wound and then from there on out it's quite a problem. MRSA most commonly appears as a skin infection like a boil or abscess and if it infects a surgical wound it becomes swollen, red, painful, and filled with pus. There is also a chance of contracting pneumonia or a UTI. There is also a chance of fasciitis or flesh-eating bacteria infection, which are very serious that spread quickly. However, these cases are not common. If you have the signs of MRSA, please contact a doctor. It can be treated, but it can be fatal, having a death rate of 20%. Drugs that treat MRSA are vagomycin, linezolid, and daptomycin. It requires special antibiotics. You know, when we say MRSA, we're saying methicillin-resistant staph aureus. So it's resistant to certain medications. This is a kind of a microorganism that's kind of evolved into not working or responding to the first line of antibiotics that initially worked against it. So you have to use stronger antibiotics. To avoid exposure, wash your hands thoroughly. Cover all cuts and scrapes with a Band-Aid. This helps the healing process and prevents the spreading of bacteria. Do not touch wounds of other people or their bandages, and do not share any personal items like towels or razors. 
If using gym equipment, wipe it down before using it and after. Let articles of clothing dry in a dryer instead of air drying because it kills bacteria. Thank you for watching this public service announcement on MRSA. We hope that you have learned something new and will be able to apply it to your own life in an effort to become healthier.